Are you serious? What? This is a big quake. So I want you to start praying right now for the people of Chile. We are just getting some information in right now. This earthquake has hit, folks, just about uh, 40 minutes ago. But it is an 8.0 earthquake just off the coast of Chile, 53 miles off the coast of Chile. It has, there is tsunami warnings for all along Latin America's Pacific coast. I repeat, Reuters is reporting a massive, mega magnitude 8.0 earthquake has hit about 40 minutes ago. Uh, today, April the 1st, 2014, and this is not, I'm, this is not an April Fool's joke. This has actually just happened. It is a massive mega quake. It hit near the, uh, near the coast of Chile, very close, within 53 miles of the coast of Chile. It has sparked uh, major tsunami warnings in effect. Now, here's a quote. The earthquake of this size has the potential to generate a destructive tsunami that can strike coastlines near the epicenter within minutes. Within minutes. And we're within minutes now. And more distant coastlines within hours. And nobody knows what this quake has just done. How big of a rogue wave has it created or tsunami that may, uh, may appear on inland somewhere. Now the U.S. Geological Survey said the quake was very shallow. It was only 6.2 miles deep, okay, below the seabed, which means it was, it has a potential to really uh, jar the uh, seabed and create a massive tsunami. And we need to be, we need to prepare. Any, if you're living anywhere along the Latin American coastline, I think you need to understand, maybe look for some high ground. Now, certainly if you live anywhere along the coast there in Chile. Um, again, I'm just giving you the information. Of course, nobody has spotted one yet, and it could take minutes. It could take hours. Uh, you know, sometimes there's, there's earthquakes like this, and the tsunami won't hit the coastline it's close to. Instead, the tsunami goes the other direction, and five, six hours later, it crashes on the other side of the world. And so I was thinking about where it could go if it doesn't hit, um, if it doesn't hit directly at the coast of Chile. Uh, if it's going to hit the coast of Chile, it should be hitting it any time now. That's, but uh, when you look at the other parts of where it could go, uh, it's certainly... Uh, the Pacific Ocean is where the threat is. There's no question about it. So would you please continue to pray? We're going to continue to monitor, but there is a tsunami warning in effect. Now, we will let you know if that warning is canceled. Right now, it's a mega, mega, major, massive earthquake of biblical proportions. Anytime you have anything over eight, you're dealing with something major. And it was very shallow. It was only 6.2 miles below the seabed and 53 miles from the coast to Chile. Uh, so we'll continue to monitor it and watch it. I'm looking for reports right now. Matter of fact, uh, if there's anything else on this, give me one second. I'll double check one more time very quickly. Um, I mean, I was one of the first people to report it. Let me see. Chile earthquake. Here we go. Just see if there's anyone else out there. Uh, ABC News is reporting it 10 minutes ago. Reuters came on about 29 minutes ago. Um, uh, let's see who else is talking about it. It is sparking tsunami warnings in effect. So we're going to wait and see just what this is. It's not the biggest earthquake in the world, but I can tell you right now, an 8.0. You know, but the earth has been shaking a lot. And I've been concerned about, of course, all of us have, Los Angeles. We've been concerned about Los Angeles. We've been concerned about the New Madrid fall. There's been a lot of quakes in Oklahoma. There's been some up at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, but you never know. A CME just hit. The first of three CMEs just hit. They hit at 8 o'clock, right around 8 o'clock. But we hit, this earthquake happened about 10 minutes to 8, somewhere around there, about 7.50, 7.50. 
7.50 p.m. Eastern. So, in other words, it must have been when the CME finally came and hit the Earth. The impact must have triggered this 8.0 earthquake in Chile. We'll continue to monitor it. We're watching to see if there is a tsunami. We're praying for everybody in the nation of Chile and surrounding nations and coastlines in the Pacific Ocean because you never know if there's going to be a rogue wave tsunami going some direction. I pray not. I pray that it doesn't. I expect them to downsize these quakes. They always do. Uh, so we'll continue to monitor at that. I'll be back in just a few moments if we get more information on this earthquake. Keep praying in Jesus' name. Give your life to Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus said in the last days there would be wars and rumors of wars. Nations would rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there'd be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. As a matter of fact, Revelation is filled with the fact that there's going to be major quakes. So does the book of Joel tell us that and other prophets, prophets from the Bible. So if you're not saved, you need to understand these are part of the birthing pains and apocalyptic signs that the Lord said would come. And I think right now I just got, looks like I just, they may have just uh, downsized it to 7.7 .7 maybe. Uh, let me double check that very quickly for you. Let me see if, uh, if they have. It's still saying 8.0 for me, but I'm going to click one more time just to make sure. USGS is still saying 8.0. Okay. We'll continue to watch this. Pray one for another, all right? We're in the last days.